Test one, two. Let me get some light in here. Test, test, one, two. Movers, where we at? Ah, where my movers at? Damn, what up, fellas? What up, what up? Warrior Wednesdays. What up, my man Reg Hunt? I see you, kid. What up? Joe Paul, I see you, family. Salute, salute. How everybody doing? I like to see everybody bright and early. Is that Joshia? Soji, what up? I see everybody jumping on this bad boy. Yo, my man Ed Hennis. Ed, you killed it last night, playboy. Please, I hope y'all are tuning in to my man Ed Hennens and his comeback. He's, I mean, he got this whole comeback series every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. on Eastern Time, uh, 7 p.m. Central. But y'all got to check out my man Ed Hennens. Please follow him if you haven't and check out his live. What Same thing, what I'm doing on Motivation Monday, he following up with that one-two punch on Tuesday, hitting that comeback trail. Who else we got? Uh, and pardon me, I can't see everybody. Laquan, what up? I see you. It's going to be a fun night, y'all. I enjoy Wednesday night. I don't know what I... Yo, y'all tell me. What, what y'all enjoy more? Wednesday nights or Monday motivation? The, the Warrior Wednesdays? And speaking of that, I got the black on black warrior mentality um shirt on. My man, um Mike, warrior mentality. He's no longer here, but... Please, the company is still in effect. Go out, support that company, Warrior Mentality, if you haven't. I'm always going to represent. That's what tonight is named after. It's named after him and his contribution, what he did while he was here in the physical form. I will always be dressed in something from Warrior Mentality on Wednesday nights because that's that's who we are. We, you got to have that Warrior Mentality. So shout to my man Mike, shout to Joshia, uh, Warrior Mentality. Please support. Uh, who else we got on here? I, I mean, see, I see everybody jumping in early and I love it. Please do me a favor right now. Can you guys tag 10 friends apiece? Tag 10 people, tell them, come on, jump in. Get a, get a feel for what we're doing on Wednesday night. This is education, we're teaching. We're just trying to motivate and inspire our people to, to do better. Any education I can give, I'm trying to do right here, right now. Uh, tch, 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 tch. What else? What else? Oh, my man, Eddie Lojack just jumped in. Eddie, what up, kid? Definitely got day one brothers in the building. Definitely. I, I, I see my man, Red, Red Hunt, said they're both inspirational. Appreciate the motivation from the community and professionals, definitely. I think you're talking about my man Ed Hennon's Tuesday night, the comeback trail. Uh, what else? Yo, please tell me. Have have, have y'all checked out that Angela Yee interview that's out now? Angie dropped so many gems. She killed it. I, I, I love that interview. I love having her on. And also, if there's somebody that you guys are interested in me interviewing... Please put it in the comments or DM me because I'm always looking to really expand, uh, you know, what we're doing here. And if it's somebody that y'all are interested in, it's, it's very, very important that y'all DM me and let me know so we can reach out to their people and see if we can get them on the podcast. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? I'm going to go for another minute before we get started. I'll start in another minute and we'll just keep it moving. So we talked about uh, Angela Yee, that's popping off. We also talked about um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Monday night, Monday night motivation, just reminding everybody. So all right, we'll get into it. It's, it, it I usually try to give everybody about five minutes to get in, um, but we'll go, hold up. Somebody said interview who? Peach, my, my piece, my piece sir, collective? I'm sorry, I got like, my, my vision is not the best. Trying to read some of this stuff is crazy. So do me a favor, put it in my DM. If you put it in my DM, I promise you I will hit you back. And more important, um, if this person is a power move maker, I guarantee you that they will be on our platform. Um, <clears throat> because that's the whole point of what we're doing, is really trying to bring as many power move makers 
to the table so that we can learn from them and hopefully they can share some of their wisdom and you guys can, can take that wisdom and run with it. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Um, I always say, you know, this is this is not a, a Sean Prez thing on Wednesday nights. This is a us thing. I, I really believe in it takes a village. I really believe in each one teach one. So tonight, for the first half of the call, you guys are going to have to teach me and educate me. So somebody's going to have to step up and, and, and um, hit that hit that request button. But right now, you guys are going to have to help me. From day one, since we started Warrior Wednesday, everybody and their mother have been hitting me like, look, Prez, I know what you're doing um, is dope. IG is dope. But you got to take this thing and move it on over to Clubhouse. So we, this is like, like starting next week, we will be here. If there's a way to be here on Wednesday nights on Instagram, if this is your platform of choice, but we're also going to be over on Clubhouse simultaneous. So if any of you guys, somebody, I want y'all to step up, educate me. Now, and when I say educate me, I really mean it because in order to be on Clubhouse, you got to have an iPhone. I never had an iPhone a day in my life. So my assistant, my man Christian, this guy's been hitting me like, yo, Prez, you got to get on Clubhouse. You got to get on Clubhouse. You got to get on Clubhouse. I finally broke down, went out, bought an iPhone. So, so we up, we running. I feel whack. Like just for even having an iPhone in my pocket, I'm an Android dude, never had an iPhone in my life, but I feel so whack, but I got it. We set up, but outside of not really even knowing how to use an iPhone, I never even been on uh, Clubhouse because in order to be on Clubhouse, you have to be an iPhone user. So can somebody, number one, hit that request button and just educate me if you guys have been on Clubhouse. What are the rules of the game? I'm going to spend the next week just really diving into Clubhouse. But are there any rules of the game? I was talking to my man Derek Ferguson offline earlier today. And he's telling me like, yo, Prez, you got to, um, you got to, you know, some of them conversations be an hour long. And they, I mean, excuse me. Four hours long. He's like, yo, some of the conversations be six hours. He's been on conversations that are going six, six hours. There's no way in hell I'm doing six hour conversations on Clubhouse. So you can forget it. So hit the little button down there. I think they changed the icon. It's a little plus button down there. Hit that icon. If you know anything about Clubhouse this is y'all time to educate Sean Prez and in let's see who we got. Let's see. So if y'all know anything, if y'all know anything about, about this whole clubhouse thing, let me know because we're gonna move some of these conversations over there. What up, King? Peace, King, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Who we got? My name's Jamal Bilal out of Sacramento, California. Been been vibing with your stuff, bro. It's, it's incredible to get people that have been accomplished and su successful to give the real blueprints, right? Because, you know, the, 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 the big media, they give you fluff. They, like, tell you, like, oh, they sold out or overnight, you know, overnight success. But to give people the real blueprint to make power moves, that's incredible, man. So I, hats off to you. Amazing concept. I, I'm really looking forward to continue watching you grow. Yo, Jamal. Th first and foremost, thank you so much. How, how did you even get come in contact with the co with, with the content? You know what? I think that um, because I dibble and dabble in music myself, and I think mm -hmm. probably hashtags or you know, people they actually like, tag other uh, in different posts. So I think I came across something that you were doing. Uh, I think I want to say, um, man, because I seen some of the earlier interviews like with DJ Envy. Um, and I think some of the earlier ones, actually a really good one that you did was with the uh, the, the trucking, where it was like the logistics part with the- Yep, yep. Shout to logistics chicks. Shout to Tristan and Samantha. Right. And so, and that honestly inspired me uh, to look at other streams of income in that ar arena. So thank you for that. No, that's dope, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. But first and foremost, and, 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 you know, it's crazy because I'm here in New York City 
uh, sometimes we don't realize the people's lives that we're affecting. So even the fact that you're in Sacramento, California, for me, that's like, oh, wow. Like, it's somebody on the other side of the country who is locked in and tuned in to what we're doing. And just the fact that you're even jumping in and saying it's making a difference in your life, man, I salute you big time. Like, like this is the whole reason. And this is just truth be told. It's a lot of things I could be doing with my time right now. Exactly. You, Jamal Bilal, are the exact reason why I have dedicated my life to doing what I'm doing. I always say, if there's somebody across the country or across the world that I have inspired through my words or my deeds or something that I'm affiliated with to really step up and, and, and take ownership of their life and go out there and make power moves, then I die a happy man. You you are a living embodiment of exactly what my life's purpose is all about. So thank you, King. Man, thank you, Press. Really, um, just just your resume, accolades, everything, just to be able to also connect with individuals that have garnished certain success and know that it's an arm reach that could totally change someone's whole life. Three sixty. You know, we look at different people that are uh, trying to be reformed from being incarcerated. They, you know, what I mean, they 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 might not be able to get a job, but they can start a business. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, different things like that. So I appreciate you so much for that. Um, and I want to say about Clubhouse, I think it would be a great platform for you to get involved with because um, Clubhouse is really a drop-in audio conference app. So you think about um, some of the most, uh, some of the greatest conferences that we'd go to where uh, we see great orators talking about different things. And you could come up to the middle of the room and there's a mic in the middle of the room, ask a question and you might get a Jermaine Dupree, give you some feedback on like what he thinks the state of hip hop is or whatnot. So that's really what the app is in a bundle. Um, as far as the rooms that are that are open six hours or 24 hours, yes, that does happen, but you can pop in and pop out. So you can pop in and pop out, but uh, basically a lot of those rooms are also used for people to gain followers. So they do like kind of like follow trains, you know, like so. But um, I, I host some different stuff on there. I do uh, some sessions called Pass the Plug where mm -hmm. uh, I talk about some different things because I've owned a retail store before. So I tell people how easy it is to get a retail store from a private owner, just like you can get an apartment complex from a private owner, like to rent an apartment if you have bad credit, right? Mm -hmm. So um, those have kind of uh, transcended for me. I also do the past the plugs. I've had uh, former executives from Facebook come on. So they talk about different avenues of tech, even if you don't code, right? Um, just different things like that, man. And uh, I think it's an excellent platform for you to connect to your, uh, to your Instagram because also I'll say this last thing, the, the traction has been organic. It's like the most organic I've seen, whether it's like you're posting on Twitter, posting on Instagram. Once you're talking to people through the app, they're immediately connecting to your Instagram. So I'm getting super duper uh, uh, big followings just by talking and hosting events. Okay, so you just educated me a lot. I, I, I got to take this in steps because keep in mind, I'm an Android guy. I have never, right. ever, ever been on uh, Clubhouse yet. You said it connects to your Instagram? Like, the, I can do this and simultaneously be on um, Clubhouse? Not necessarily. You can continue to do this, but you can also uh -huh. host an event on Clubhouse. And when you, when you host the event on Clubhouse, you got to take that. Are you good? No, 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 no. Go ahead. I, I apologize. I usually have no this thing on mute. No worries. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, you, you can continue to do what you're doing, but you can go on Clubhouse and host events where you're talking and you're bringing moderators in and then organically the people that are pinged into the room, just kind of like how you ping people into the, uh, to the live, they're, they're uh -huh. connecting to your Instagram. So they, they see your Instagram straight on your profile, nothing else, just your bio Instagram. So it's like the most organic. That's the best way I can describe it. It's the most organic form of uh, genuinely connecting with people past the pictures, past the everything. You're, you're like, hearing someone's voice and you're making like a real connection. They go to your profile, they see power move press and then they click it and they click follow. Like, man, this guy gave great information. Let me stay tuned with him. How, how long, how long have you been hosting? And I don't even know what to call it. Is it hosting events? Have it hosting panel? Like what, what is it even called when um, you're hosting these things on clubhouse? They call it rooms. Okay. How long have you had a room on clubhouse? Um, I've been doing it for about four months now. And, and, and you keep talking about the organic following. What are we looking at? Is it 20 people? Is it, is it 200 people? Like, what is it? What do you, oh, what man. 
Like how, how, how big are your rooms at this point? Well, organically, I say in that four months, I've gained 700 followers, right? In four months? Four months, yeah, organically. As I'm talking, I'm seeing them because you can switch through the app and look at Instagram. I'm seeing them coming in and they're DMing me. So, and I mean, and just, just as transparency, just to be as transparent as possible, I'm going to just double back to the, uh, to, uh, the room, the commercial uh, uh, um, lease for the, uh, the, uh, the property I had with the store. Uh-huh. So, yeah, right? I just, I, I went to someone else's room. The room was titled, How to Spend Your Stimulus, The Best Way to Spend Your Stimulus. You can just come in the room, you can raise your hand and just say like, hey, what am I, what's the best thing to do to flip my 600 stimulus? So I went in there and I just told them, I was like, hey, I think you should save that towards maybe uh, it could be a, 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 a commercial lease. Get yourself a storefront. That's what I did. The inventory is really, you can retire off that or whatnot. That was my plan, right? And uh, from that, a young lady wanted to do the same thing. So she paid me. She literally, in a matter of days, sent me $1,300 uh, to consult her over the phone. So, Are you serious? Where? And that was like, wow, that was mind blowing. So I also see, because um, there, there's, because see, that, that's the thing. Um, there's a whole, they'll have memes going around. They'll say, Everybody's saying they're A and R, but people like yourself are actually credentialed, and people can actually do the home math. They see the DJ Envy, they see the Angela Yee's. That's real. You can't fake that, right? Mm -hmm. um, no matter, they ain't no matter of uh, followers can be bought to produce the real, right? So, a person like you going onto that platform, you can actually post uh, events where you're talking and giving people value, and then you could turn them back to a paywall where if they if they wanted a one on one consultation with you. I'd do it. I, I'd invest in that because I, I know it'd be worth it just to be able to have someone that's successful just uh, give me the proper steps and branding. You know, it's so crazy. Uh, and, and, and maybe this is the, the, the meatball side of Sean Prez. But, I, you know, to, to even have people pay, to even have people pay me at this point, like I really want to give and I really want to see everybody come up you know, that's the whole reason why I'm trying my best to put this out there for free. I'm trying to give people as much free content as humanly possible. I'm trying to give people what I didn't have growing up in the South Bronx. And right. if I did charge people, it would never, ever be just to make money. It would only be because of time. Like, it, it, it's taking me away from making money. Right. So, you know, it's it's interesting that you say that and I purposely tried to stay away from that because, you know, our people have, we have a hard enough time getting ahead in life. We have a hard, and I understand education costs. Um, you know, people, but people can't go to college. They can't get the loans. They can't get, if I did charge, it would only be based on I'm being pulled away from making money, but I'm trying my best to be out there and give as much free, free, free education, free, free, free game as humanly possible. That's the biggest payoff that I can get is seeing people learn and having somebody come up and be like, yo, it was because of you that I really, really uh, was able to take my life from here to up here. Thanks. So. No, nah, but but Jamal, I appreciate you, man. Um, you know, you you just educated me a lot, and and trust me when I tell you, I'm gonna take some of this information and apply it. I was reading even as you were talking, my man Rod Dollars. Shout out to Rod Dollars. Uh, he's a day one mover. He said he picked up 700 followers in three weeks. Like this is crazy. Like the the, the organic traction is. As a matter of fact, Rod, if if if, if you still around. Is is this organic traction that you you got seven hundred followers just organically? Like what the hell are you talking about in your room? But matter of fact, Rod, do me a favor, hit that hit that button, jump on you next. But Jamal, stick with us, kid. I appreciate you, and and, and you know, you you exemplify everything that a mover is. Keep moving, brother. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna DM you. Uh, I was the one that was talking about the Peace Army Collective. It's a vertically integrated brand. We're, we're kind of alternative to the shade room. But we're trying to do a positive uh, media, right? Positive media uh -huh. uh, interview like Drake's dad. We've interviewed Snoop Dogg, different people like that. So I would love to connect with interview, talk a little bit about what we got going on and vice versa. And, you know.
Can you do me a favor? As soon as this is over, just DM me and make sure, yo, this is Jamal Bilal, and 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 I will hit you right back, and we'll make sure we connect offline. Bet. All right, King. My brother, continue success. Movers, move. Keep moving. Facts. My brother. Uh, matter of fact, yeah, you X out, because every time I try to X out, Instagram jams up. Uh, who we got? Yo, um, Rod Dallas, where you at? Rod, I know sometimes you be at work, so hopefully, hopefully you can um slide off for a little bit. Yeah, you can hear me, Press. I can hear you, Rod. What up, family? Yeah, what's good? What's good? I'm at work. I know you at work, <laughs> and, and I just thought about it when I was calling you out. So talk to me quick about um educate educate me, educate the audience, anybody who hasn't been on um Clubhouse yet. So basically, when I started on Clubhouse, um, I came in like kind of late. And um, basically, I just jump into rooms like, um, was it like silent engagement rooms? Uh -huh. So basically, you go on the groups and you just, um, you come on, you mute your mic, and then people will go to your page, look at your bio, and then go to your Instagram. And Hold on, leave. do me a favor. I, I, I know you at work. Is there a way you can pull down the mask uh, just for this? Yeah, okay. yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, because it's muffled a little bit. Uh, so um basically they were they were um they were going to my page, read my bio, and in my bio I got everything from like Bad Boy Street Team to um me investing in um in Robin Hood, me managing um my artists, what else? Um me being an actor, everything everything that like that I acted in as far as like juicy the uh, web series my movie, all of that. And people will look at that, go on my page, like my um like my pictures, follow me, comment, all of that. And the the engagement it goes up like crazy. Like one time I was in a group and I had went to sleep. I had woke up to like a hundred followers. Are you serious? I'm serious. How often are you on Clubhouse? I was just on Clubhouse and on live. Whoa. Word? Yeah. I'm in a solid engagement room right now. That's crazy. Now, we definitely going to be doing this from Clubhouse. I was talking to my man, Derek Ferguson, because we, we're dropping so much information here, and, and, and I want to get it out to as many people as humanly possible. And, that, and if anybody who is watching this Instagram Live right now, you know, how do y'all feel about us moving over to Clubhouse? I'm going to try to do it simultaneously. <laughs> I don't know if you can do definitely both. do it simultaneously. You could do both, Prez. They also got a um a bad boy group in there. Yeah, I know. They 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 hit me about hosting it. Um but again, you like like a meatball, I didn't I didn't have an iPhone, <laughs> so I finally broke down and bought one yesterday. Uh, so I'm right. part of the Apple family. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say I'm part of the Apple family. I sound so corny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um definitely like um Clubhouse is um it's good. Like, um, I got a couple of um, um, Instagram like celebrities, um, posting my um my stuff. Um, one of them, one of this girl, she's from like Jamaica. She got a blue check. She just um posted one one of one of my hats, like, and she got over like two hundred thousand followers. Crazy. Oh look, one of the movers just asked a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you actually talk about on Clubhouse? Oh, so you could talk about anything. Like people go in there and they talk about like um like their small businesses. Um they talk about like how to make money, um, how to how to start a business. Um, people promote their music, um, their YouTubes, anything. You could talk about anything. Um, I've been in groups where um what have they talked about? They talked about like relationship um issues and so I, it's just, it's just wide open like yeah, whatever you you could talk about anything anything have you ever hosted a room yourself um I never hosted a room myself so you're telling I, me you got seven hundred followers and never hosted a room never hosted a room I've been like a so what the hell would somebody follow you for then because they see like my, like they, what follow you for if you ain't hosting no rooms nah they see my bio and then sometimes when I jump into these rooms. I explained that I have a business and that I manage and I do all of that.
And they really follow you organically. They really follow, stuff. They really follow yeah, me. Yeah, me and you gonna have to talk offline, Playboy. Really that was dope. I, was, I was with Rome, and I told I told Rome, I told Rome about it, and he he's about to jump on it too. I think. But yeah, yeah but, like, but was, tell tell him to jump. Tell him to start. I don't know where Rome at. I ain't seen him on Power Move Makers <laughs> in a while. Tell him he's slacking. I got you, but yeah, like I had, yo, on um, press, I had fourteen point three thousand followers and now i got 14.9 followers on what on 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 instagram and you think it came over from, from no clubhouse? it came it came from clubhouse get out of here i swear to god yeah we gonna have to talk offline but um just to keep it a buck like you know my 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 goal is to have you know deeper conversations and everybody's just telling me look you gotta you gotta go over there um, you got to start those rooms and, you know, God willing, we can reach more people. God willing, we can affect more lives in a positive way. So that's just what it's going to be. So yeah, God, think, so, so next Tuesday, like, next Wednesday is when we're going to start. I said that like two weeks ago in your live. I wrote it in the comments, like get on Clubhouse. Yeah, every, I mean, I'm going to tell you, Rod, everybody been telling me. You're not the only one. Everybody and their mother been telling me. And trust me when I tell you. I finally broke down. Like, like, you know, I don't, I, iPhones came out in 2008. It's 2021 right now. Yeah. I just got one. But all right, kid, I'm out of here. I want to get more people on. I see my man Derek Ferguson jumped in. I want to definitely get him into the conversation. Ra, I appreciate you. If y'all don't follow Ra Dollars, hit the um the icon up top right now. Please go ahead right, and bro. follow him. Support him with what he's doing. Movers. Okay. Thank you guys for educating me again. I always tell y'all these Wednesday nights, it is it is not a one-way thing. This is movers supporting movers. I'm being educated. I'm looking for and, and just so everybody knows, we're we're probably gonna start next Wednesday. I want to take a week and really understand that new platform. So I'm gonna be in a lot of people's rooms. If you have a room or if there's anything you want me to sit in on, DM me, let me know. Because I'm gonna be a peeping tom this whole week, just just sitting and just understanding and learning um, the platform before we start. So hopefully next Wednesday we we ready to go, um, and it's probably gonna be the same time as this, 7 p.m. But I'll let y'all know with a post right here on IG. Uh, Derek, back to business. Deep Ferg, where you at? Hit that um, hit that request button. It's the little plus sign down below. That little plus icon. And I'll bring you into the conversation and we can see if we can get uh just really educate our movers this week on on and I know what you wanted to talk about, but I'm not gonna spoil it. I'll bring you in and we can we can discuss it there. Hold on. <laughs> Defer, where you at? And and I just literally just hit the vibranium gold. Um, I hit the vibranium gold, and it said you need the the most updated version of um, of Instagram. So I don't know if that's an issue. Corey K, what up? I see you, Playboy. Who else we got? <clears throat> Shout to my man Corey K. Corey, we definitely got an offline. I'm looking forward to collabing. Who else? Okay, I don't know what happened to my man Derek Ferguson. If there's anybody who's looking to jump in, if you can educate me on uh, Clubhouse, please jump in now. Hit that request button. If there are any business-related questions, just really open in the floor the way we normally do. Hit the request button. Easy. Hit that request button. I got we 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 got a, a a regular. You know something? You need you need to damn near be co-hosted with me, Playboy Joe Paul. What up, family? Listen, I'm here anytime you need me, Prez. Anytime you need. Me. Nah, I'm, I'm about to make you a co-host on, on Wednesday night, brother. Well, I'm definitely having you. I'm about to start a, a new series on my verified podcast called Should Be Verified Edition. So 
I, I would be honored and blessed. Whatever you need. need, you already know that. My brother, I wanted to tell you, you got the cheat code with Rob Love. He's like the king of Clubhouse. Are you serious? He is. The, they're still talking about his Def Jam reunion rule. He, okay, uh, so he, hold, hold, hold tight. But explain to anybody who's watching this right now who Rob Love is. Let's give him his credit. You know how when people say, oh, that's that motherfucker? That's that motherfucker. Uh <laughs> Uh, Rob, Rob Love is uh, is an icon and a a real mover uh, in the hip hop as well as business community. Ran uh, some of the most important jobs for uh, Def Jam in in connection with Russell Simmons, Leo Cohen, and Kevin Lyles. Um, I, I believe that people need to put more respect on his name, you know, um, as well as you, but. Uh, he's kind of taken me, you know, kind of under his wing and like, you know, just kind of uh, allowed me in the, the secret society, which I, I feel like, you know, I shouldn't, I don't even deserve to be there just yet, but I, I'm forever grateful. But uh, Rob is the king of clubhouse. He, uh, he broadcasts simultaneously every Thursday night when he does his behind the record. So give Rob a call. Rob will give you like a one, two, three, you know, a tutorial on how to run clubhouse and you will be off and running. That's all you need. He got the cheat code. So and he literally does it simultaneous. Simultaneously. All the time. And he's one of the guys that stays on for like four hours, you know, and does it. And he always, you know, he's always teasing me because he sent me an invite like five months ago, but I'm an Android guy. So I you know, <laughs> I feel like by the time I actually get like an iPhone or some sort of, you know, iMac or Apple computer, they're gonna allow Androids in. So I'm holding off for just a second. But I'm gonna be in Clubhouse very, very soon. I feel like I'm there in spirit, but I get teased a lot. It's like, all right, what the fuck are you doing with an Android? You're, you, you know, you're in the podcast music game. You should have, you know, an iPhone. I'm like, everything's working for me except for Clubhouse. That's really it. Nah, it's so crazy you said that because, it, and first and foremost, shout out to my man Rob Love. Um, if you guys do not know of Rob Love, please go and follow him. Thursday nights, 8 p.m. He does behind the records right here on Instagram. And now I know it is also on Clubhouse. So please follow him. I'll definitely hit him offline. But, you know, here's, here's a deal. And it's a lesson in this that I want all of the movers to pay attention to. Um, sometimes you get, okay, in my case, I didn't want to get no iPhone. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. I had your mindset, Joe, Joe Paul. I was like, by the time I go out, spend this hard-earned money on an iPhone, they I know it's in beta right now. They're going to mess around and uh, uh, allow all the Android users in, and it will be a waste of my money. But truth of the matter is, when I really started to think about it, and I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm out here, and I'm trying to, to, to grow this audience. I'm really trying to make a mark in the community as a motivational speaker, um, as a podcaster. I was like, I just gotta get, I gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. And if that means I gotta take money that I would use for something else, I'm just gonna have to do it. And it's something that, you know, we all should have to think about, including yourself. Cause uh -huh. I know you had the same mindset I had. I just broke down yesterday. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and just go out there and do something that you normally wouldn't do, but if it helps you to get closer to that goal line, that's all that matters, period. So Absolutely. What, what you just said is key. So everyone has a great idea, but execution of that, that idea. Yes, we're just talking about something like getting an iPhone, you know, and jumping onto Clubhouse and being able to expand your platform. It is organic because what I have read about it, because I do read up on it, is that in these engagement rooms, it's like that's the whole point of being in the room is to kind of grow your followers. So like the, it's already the methodology in there is, okay, I'm going to go in this room. I'm going to follow a bunch of people and a bunch of people are going to follow me. So, you know, uh, I know that like, it seems organic, but you also in your line of work, what you're trying to do, you want the right followers. You want the people that are going to support. You don't want, you know, people that are just going to be there, you know, just to be there. You want people that are going to, you know, add value, you know, just like you said, you know, you want to put out that free game, you know, and I completely understand that. 
I do consulting for artists, like, but I do it like 10 or 15 or 20 at a time through Zoom, and I only charge them like $10 each. So at least I'm getting like at least like 100 or 200 an hour for my time where it's not like, like $1,300, you know, uh, for a consulting fee. God bless you, Jamal. God bless you because – that's a that that's a lot, and I don't want to ever have to be held accountable for not producing the secret sauce. If you know you only pay ten dollars, okay? I, I'm just going to give you some free game. However you interpret it, you know it's a matter of opinion. And speaking about accountability and all my movers, I need you guys to back me up. Prez did not post about his Monday motivation on his Instagram or his Wednesday power moves. You know, um, uh. IG Live. You need to stay consistent to grow this platform. Hold on, I didn't, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you do realize right now, my man Christian is like, what the f? Because he's responsible for for posting that. So I'm Christian, sure Dubai. that's it. That's it, Christian. That's it. So, wait, so wait. you're telling me no post went up about Monday or Wednesday? Or Wednesday. I, 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 I was concerned. I was like. I hope everything is okay because I will be there and I will be waiting, like refreshing the page to see that, you know, on live, you know, button. But, oh, I mean, so in the podcast game or in growing a platform, and I'm no, I'm no genius or anything like that. I just used a lot of common sense. It's just, it's imperative that we stay consistent with how we promote our show so that the consistency builds in people's minds. Okay, Monday at 7 o'clock, I'm going to be there. And, oh, shit, you know, I saw it on the timeline. Yeah, we're definitely going to be there tonight. You know, so, Christian, don't let me find you when COVID's over because that's a no-no in the game. Okay? Yeah, Great. I would tell you, thank you so much. Nah, but that's so dope that you even brought that up because it is, it is a game of consistency, and it's a bigger picture to this, right? There is a reason why companies like, as bad as the food is for you, McDonald's has been in business for as many years as it has been. You know when you go there, them fries are going to taste the same today as they did when you were two years old. You know them burgers are going to be made and taste the same as they did when you're Anywhere two years old. Anywhere all over the world. All over and, the world. Exactly. You, if you're tasting a McDonald's fry here in the United States, you can go to Indochina, and that fry is going to taste exactly the same. But movers, and I didn't know the conversation was going to take this turn. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to call you out, but listen, we, we 2021 is the year of accountability, and in saying that, it's not to call you out and make you feel embarrassed. It's to say. I want you to win. So this is the formula that we've got to use and, and, you know, and instill on each other, especially when we're passionate about the other person's, you know, path to success. Because, listen, we've been in the music industry for 20 years. You're a little bit more, just a tiny bit more successful than I have been. Okay? Let's, I mean, you know, depending on how you weigh the scale. <laughs> but, but in trying something different, it's about showing the consistency and really improving the viewer experience. And the only way to do that is to always have it in their face and consistency over and over and over again, you know, and this is not the definition of crazy where we do the same thing over and over and expect different results. This is, this is a formula of how we have to promote ourselves in today's day and age. You know, we used to, you know, going and, and hiring a street team and posting up, you know, things, billboards all over the place. But right now, you know, your timeline is the block. And you got to flood the block sometimes. And when there's a, a Monday motivation, you know, it makes us feel nice when we see that on our timeline. Okay, yes, we will be there at 7 o'clock. Wednesday, yeah, but, but we, again, we will be there. Again, again, Joe Paul, you, you're, you're hitting such great points uh, that I need the mover community to understand. Do y'all understand this man is pointing out to me, the power move maker, Sean, I'm putting you on blast because the little things, the little things that you might not think matter, matter. It is something that I preach all the time. The devil is in the details. It is those little micro details that you may overlook, 
that you may think people do not see or pay attention to. Right now, you are calling me out on my IG Live, but it's so well received because this is what success demands. It demands you pay attention to the details. It demands that you are consistent, that people know when they buy a product from you, when they go and they buy or, or hire you to use your service, that you are going to be consistently on time, consistently thorough, consistently dope. Every time I spend my money on you, and if you can't get it right 50% of the time, that means you are losing 100% of the business. So I applaud you for bringing this to the table because it is a message that I have I preached on on Motivational Mondays, and it's something even within my internal team I live by. It is always the details. And the fact that you even caught that minor detail that I don't, because I'm not on Instagram as much as I should, it's, it lets me know people are always watching, even when you think that they're not. That's why it's so important to do a great job. You do a great job for you, but like my grandfather always told me, you don't know who's watching. You don't know whose eyes are on you. And, and I can go on for days, but even <clears throat> when I was um, tour managing, and I spoke about this on my Monday Motivation two days ago, I didn't realize how many people was watching me and seeing that this guy is thorough. This guy does not drop the ball. This guy makes sure, it doesn't matter how chaotic things are, he is laser focused, stays calm under pressure. And that is when people start to say your name. And even, you know, in terms of me rec um, working records, you know how many millions of dollars I turned down in business? Because I, I can't imagine that many records. But people know when I gave you money, you were breaking this record because I was consistent. I didn't just take a check to take it. And I understood when, when I take a check, forget you, my name and my reputation is on the line. And therefore, when I took your check, you could almost, it was money in the bank that you was about to blow. It's guaranteed. Like, there's a, like, I mean, uh, like, I want people to understand there's a reason why Sean P. Diddy, Puff Daddy Combs, put this man in the position that he did, not only because he earned it, because he deserved it, okay? Like, in in getting a job of that caliber, and I was talking, uh, I talked about this on my podcast with Shampoo, um, you know, when he, you know, first started, you know, doing uh, promotions for Def Jam. It's like, yeah, you're, you're doing things, you know, before you get there, but as soon as you reach the pinnacle of where it really is, like, time for you to shine, now it's time to now it's go time. It's like, let me show you all business and I'm going to go 100%. There's never going to be a time that anyone is going to be able to question my integrity, question my responsibility, or question my mere presence of why you're giving me this money to run this multi gazillion dollar industry like Bad Boy Entertainment. So I, I hope everyone takes these gems to heart, you know, from, from you because you've been there from the mud to the fucking penthouse. So I salute you. Keep on doing your thing. King of the movers. I want to let uh, other people get up. Hopefully, uh, uh, Derek Ferguson, you know, updated his IG again so we can get some of his his gems because that dude's a stud when it comes to finance and business. Nah, there is no joke. I sit there like, it's like, where is it? Like, me and this guy need to go into business together. Or I have a financial podcast or something. But uh, I salute you. I salute all my movers. Uh, thank you, everyone who's uh, tuning in. I see you, Nina. I see you, JP. I see everyone who uh, who tuned in. But I'm gonna let every. Uh, I'm gonna let some other movers uh, chime in. Prez, love you. Keep on doing your thing. Keep shining. Love baby. you, brother. Keep it up. One. Okay. Shout out to my man Joe Paul, Derek Ferguson. Where you at? Hit that button to join. I don't know if I. I don't see you, but I wanna. I wanna, guys. Joe Paul just opened up. Uh. He just opened up something that we got to talk about here. People have to know your reputation. It's, that is your currency. That is your money. People knowing that when you 
When, 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 when you have the ball, you are going to, to run through walls. You are going to do whatever it takes to get that ball over the goal line. And you can't think that what you did yesterday can support people supporting you tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. You can't do a good job 90% of the time. I think it was Vince Lombardi who said, winning is not a sometime thing. It is an all the time thing. That's what it's about. So if you're gonna try, if you are really about your business, if you are serious about being a mover, don't think for a second that you can drop the ball. And I love the fact that my man Joe Paul noticed the details. People are watching even when you don't think that they are. Okay, who now we got? Great conversation. I'm enjoying it tonight, y'all. I really am. The guru, <laughs> the financial guru, the business guru has just dropped in. What's going yeah. on, Sean Prez? d Ferg, what up? Soaking it all up. Soaking it all up with Joe Paul. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of good guests. I, I got it. If you don't mind, can I, I gotta give you I gotta give you a two minute take, my take on Clubhouse. Because I'm gonna, let's do it. I'm gonna hit you all with another angle just so you have it. Now you know, Prez, I I referred you to Clubhouse yeah. and I think your platform will be great there. But one of the things we gotta do is we gotta cut the cord on this on these social media platforms that are taking our information and taking our data and turning it into billions of dollars. And we're just happy to be able to like have an audio. Think about it. This is an audio conversation. And we're giving up all our information to them. And it's not even like, that's not even high technology. You could get a phone list right now and do a conference call that's similar to the technology. Now, let me tell you a little bit of what they're doing longer term. There's some good news and bad news. The good news is, uh, and I can I can point you back to a lunch I had with a uh, young African American private equity uh, guy who is one of the lead investors in this. So it was good that we have some representation there. But I two years ago he told me we're, we're working on the next big thing and it's going to be an audio platform, and that turned out to be what this clubhouse is. Uh, oh, wow. But what they're looking to do is. Uh, all of this information is voice information they're collecting. So they're, they're keeping all of your audio data stored and, and gathered and collected to build AI protocols, artificial intelligence protocols. So artificial intelligence requires uh, knowing, uh, you know, how people talk to each other, what, what words they use, what phrases they use, what they mean. And by studying that, studying conversations over and over again, they can use that information to perfect artificial intelligence protocols. So by you signing up and doing everything on there and you get some value out of it, uh, they're going to take all of that information, build these protocols and, and literally make billions to tens of billions of dollars. So, that's one thing, and that's just something to be conscious of. Same thing going on on Instagram, same thing going on on Facebook. They're taking all of our data, and so you just got to think about, we think about these things like they're free. They're really not free. I, I want to I wanna buy a T-shirt that says social media isn't free because we're giving, up, we're giving up our data and our information. The only other thing I say about Clubhouse is that when it starts expanding and more and more people get on it, the quality level of some of the conversations, I would rate it overall right now a C plus. Yours would definitely be an A, but a lot of the conversations are C pluses. I think when more and more people get on there, the average quality level will go down, will go down, and maybe yeah, but down can to you a elaborate? I'm, I'm sorry to cut in. Can you elaborate for our audience? What, what do yeah. you mean? What do you mean by that? So again, this is not to discourage anybody. Go on and make your own judgments. And also, not to discourage you from going on and creating your own rooms, 
But oftentimes people are creating rooms saying they're experts on something and they're not really experts. So just as a, let me just tell you one quick real situation, which is kind of funny, but it gives you a sense of what, <laughs> what goes on. So I didn't know any, when I joined Clubhouse, I didn't know anything about it. So I had some random person that was following me, invited me into a room. So I didn't know what that meant. So I'm like, click, and I'm, all of a sudden I'm in a room. And then the same person invited me on stage. And now they invited me on stage. And I'm like, and they're like, yeah, deeper, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, do I know? I don't even know this person, right? <laughs> like, I don't know who they are. Then it was like three or four people like, yeah, we got D. Ferg in the building. This is a big night. And I'm like, I'm not big. <laughs> like, I'm not big. Why is this a big night? Uh, and, uh, and then it comes to turn out, these are like three or four interns, no offense to interns, <laughs> you know, that had worked at Revolt or something. And they knew me. And like they were, and they were, they were positioning themselves like they were going to sign people to a, a record label or something. <laughs> so, yeah, you have a lot of that. You oh, a lot of that going on. but it was funny because they were like, "Yeah, we have a legend coming up to the stage," and I'm looking. I'm like, "Oh, they must have somebody. They got Rakim or somebody coming." They're like, "We got D. Fur coming to." I'm like, "Come on now, y'all just <laughs> lost. All, you just lost all your credibility." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So so this is gonna be real interesting when I jump on. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but oh. I would say like, for, so it doesn't affect your particular room, though. So your room could be great, but I'm just telling people in general because I had to learn that because I'm like I'm sitting in these rooms and I'm like, like who are the people and are they and they're talking like they're the experts. Yeah, I've been doing this, you know, fifty years and blah blah blah. Then you look at their background, and you're like. But wait a second, they not, you know, they don't really, you know, anyway, I just warn you of that. I want to let everyone know about just the reality of this information we're giving away. Anybody who doesn't follow follow Angela Benton and her company Streamalytics, she's come up with a way for you to monetize your information so you actually get paid for your information. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Say that name again. Okay. And, and, and also, I don't even know if you can type it in the comments, but but that's inf that that's great information. I don't know where you're about to go, but it sounds like something this mover community community needs to know. Yeah. So Angela Benton came up with technology that basically allows you to get paid for other people using your information. Uh, it's called Streamalytics, uh, and so she. She's a big uh, proponent of stop giving your information away. If you go to her website, and I don't have all the website information, and, and Prez, you should have her. You should definitely, she's definitely a power move maker that you have to interview. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. But, uh, and you've met her. You probably don't, you don't, you don't remember it. She's been at a lot of the revolt events and things of that sort. So I'm pretty sure you would have met her over the years. But, uh, yeah, so she's, she's really turning this whole social media uh, a paradigm on its on its uh, on its back, and saying stop giving your information away for free. Uh, you can actually utilize your information. You can actually get paid for your information, and and you can do that through Streamalytics. And I'm not explaining it super well, but you can go on her website. First thing she does on her website, she shows you how to find all the data they have on you. You want to talk about something scary? Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, they have everything like they have a profile on you. They have your political leanings. They have like your taste. What color you like? You know what I mean? Are you serious? Yeah, because they study in every move you make. You know, what products are you interested in? And when you but when I when I tell you, there's about for mine, there was about 120 factors they had about me. Well, OK, how, how accurate was it? Well, it was accurate in terms of things I looked at on social media. Sometimes it was deceptive because I may be looking for something for my wife or this, that, or the other. So it was deceptive in that it wasn't really my personality, but it was definitely stuff I can look back to and say, yeah, yeah, I was, I was searching for, I was looking at furniture, you know, you know, like my wife and I were looking at furniture. You know, it doesn't mean I'm like a furniture connoisseur, <laughs> but... We were looking at that stuff. No, but, and so Angela shows you how to get your data on every platform and, and to, and to block your, your information 
so that the social media channels can no longer uh, use your data. Okay, but but by signing up to these, and and I know I know we were supposed to go a different direction, but let's just keep going this way because <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying this conversation. By by signing up uh, or by joining these these platforms, aren't you essentially saying I give permission to you to take this data? You are. So how can, how can you take it back? You you are, but you actually opt. You can opt out. And I've opted out. It doesn't change your experience, actually. But most people don't know you can opt out. You can actually opt out. I, yeah. I, I thought they just had you by the nuts. Like you just have to take it. Yeah. The only thing it may and it may do is like sometimes you know how you're searching for something and you get to it quick because you've gone to it. You know, you have it kind of stored in your, uh, in, you know, your your things you search are stored and you get there quickly things like that. I, I really haven't had it affect anything uh, by blocking my data. And I still believe there's some data that, uh, you know, they'll, you, you, you'll still give up. But, you know, you can block a lot of that use of your data uh, pretty straightforwardly, straight, pretty straightforwardly, but people just don't, they don't know about it. Wow. Um, that's scary, Derek. That that that's that's beyond scary. Uh, I mean, we obviously know that that they are collecting data, but even uh, recording these phone conversations by the million. I mean, these these live conversations by the millions to to create uh, perfection for for the the artificial intelligence is beyond scary. It's crazy. I, and it's you want to know which, even as you were talking, I'm like, yo, this is the ultimate bait and switch. Like they're getting you in here under one pretense, right? So, on the surface, it looks good. They have millions of users who will be using it, but that's not even their primary goal. They they have you looking this way when really their agenda is coming in from this side. Yeah, yes. Um, there's a, there is a, uh, it's kind of a documentary um, uh, slash commentary um, on Netflix uh, called, named uh, Social Dilemma. Yep. Please, please watch that if you haven't watched it. It really talks about, and this is what's spurring up all of these uh, highly charged countercultural groups. Like if you if you live in social media world, you can only see opinions that are the same, and you can see like that's how all of these conspiracy theories get get fueled, and because they're just like basically once they know what you're going to react to, they just keep feeding it to you and feeding it to you. You know how it is when when they like a prompt and you like you know I click on one basketball clip on Instagram and every day I get like 35 clips before I know it. Cause I love basketball. I've been looking at basketball clips for an hour. I'm like, what am I doing? Uh, so, but that, I mean, that's, that's, they, I mean, the social dilemma shows that they, their whole programming engineering is designed to say, well, what do they like and how do I get them to engage more and more and more? Because every second of your attention and your time earns Instagram and Facebook money. Okay, so, and this is a different conversation. We're coming up on the close of the hour, but you started off by saying we have to stop uh, investing in these platforms that are just taking. What's the alternative? If this is all that's out there, are there any platforms that are out there that that are not just taken but are rewarding us or or even for us by us like and that to be honest i don't care who makes it obviously i want to support our own but what i'm more interested in are platforms that would share in the profits because they have it, it's huge revenue streams that are coming in and it's all based on our content it's all based on us feeding content to their platform but we're yeah. not seeing any dividends we're seeing no right. revenue so yeah. what is the answer to that I, I love how you started the conversation off but do you have an answer to it yeah so i i, I didn't really create this conversation to plug 
my own thing, but you know, you and I have talked about what, what vibranium is going to be. Part of what we're going to do is create a, sh a link sharing method, which is off the grid. You don't have to give any information. Actually, it's, it's actually anonymous. So you can share links. So when you, uh, this is a longer conversation. I, I'm, I, would be happy to come back when we're ready to talk about it. But yeah, when you, I, I just gave you the layup, Derek. You gave me the layup. <laughs> here we go. But when you put when you put information into the blockchain, you're no longer identified, and your information is not identified. In fact, it's secured, and we can create. So the thing is, that as much as we share on social media, we still share a lot of things off of media. We share links through email. We share links through text. So imagine if you just say, "I'm no longer going to be on one of these." platforms but i'm gonna be i'm gonna build big groups text groups email groups and i'm gonna communicate that way and i'm gonna communicate through link sharing and things of that sort but even bigger now on a blockchain i can um i can i can link share and do all of that without without any of my any of my you won't even know who i am you know necessarily you know like it's it's all i'm i'm protected through the uh through the blockchain. So that's how, that's what we feel is the future because at the end of the day, you know, this proposition is just not going to keep working, right? <laughs> like the proposition of come on in and that's what's interesting about Clubhouse and I hate to say it, the problem, one of the problems we have in our community, you know, the black and brown communities, we get lured into this. Like we love this stuff. And when you look at Clubhouse, it's about 40, 50% you know, uh, you know, the flavor on Clubhouse is all our folks, all our, you know, personalities, you know, they're driving the interest in the platform. Um, and, um, and again, they're going to fall into the trap. We're going to fall into the trap of giving up our information for nothing. So we have to find a way we can still do all of this communicating and be off the grid and not have to give up our information and part of what we're building, we're building, so just quickly on Vibranium, we're building a big block, blockchain solution uh, that will include a cryptocurrency token uh, that will allow you to do many things, but it'll allow you to earn, uh, earn money through sharing links. It'll allow you to fund your businesses through loans and grants, and it'll allow you to do uh, seamless commerce across the continent uh, within the con within the continent, but across the continent between Africa and America. So, Derek, uh, realistically, because this is a fascinating conversation that we're having right now, and I know a lot of our audience, uh, they they highly respect you. You come on week over week, and you share, and and you really educate in terms of uh, building business. Now, you're in the midst of building uh, an incredible business, it sounds like. When will you be ready to talk about it in detail? And I ask you this because this is a much larger conversation. And I really want to deep, because even as you and I are talking and you have been telling me about this for some time, I just kind of gave you the alley-oop like, okay, you know, plug yourself because people people don't real they 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 see the handle um, vibranium gold, but but you never ever plug it. When will you be ready to discuss in detail what vibranium is? When you guys are going to launch? How close you are to launch? Like when do you feel comfortable? Because I would love yeah. to either bring you back on this platform or do a separate power move maker in depth interview with you to just talk about what it is you're building. Yeah, so this is kind of pre, pre-launch pre and pre-even announcement. But in two weeks, I'll be ready be talking about it everywhere, hopefully. And then we want to we wanna have the plat platform up and running. Uh, we're working on it, building it now. Engineers are building it. Be it'll be ready before the end of March. I mean, end wow. of May. I'm sorry, end of May, sorry. <laughs> before the end okay, of May. Okay, so... But we're ready to talk talk about it in detail, you know, starting in a couple of weeks. Okay, so we'll offline because maybe that's a maybe that's a whole other power move maker conversation. I don't know where the best uh avenue is, but I, I definitely want to help get this word out. I love what it is that you're doing. I think that it can be something that uh is amazing. 
Yeah. You know, and, and, and just to, just to, you know, you're, you're talking, we often see these platforms uh, come into effect and blow, but you never know the people behind it. So, so even to think that we're, you know, we're, we're sitting here on a live with somebody who is thinking so far out of the box to, to, to create something that possibly all of us could be sharing in yeah. Um, is amazing to me. Here's the exciting thing about it for me, uh, for me, Prez, and to me, I see this really as a culmination of my life's work. It's like this is a plat. I really thought through how do we have a platform where everybody wins. Like one of the things before you participate in anybody in anything, think about who's winning and who's winning the most, because like part of disparities in everything we do is about well, we're all participating in this thing, but who's winning? So when I'm on Clubhouse and I'm, they need me, they need my time, they need my voice, this, that, and the other, and maybe I get some business contacts through it or this, that, or the other. But meanwhile, a billion-dollar company is being built on your back. Just think about the pie and how, what split of the pie you're getting. The great thing about what we're building and the great thing about crypto, these things are built in a decentralized fashion. So I don't really have an advantage over you. You don't have an advantage over the next person. And there's the ways you go earn and thrive and and, uh, and and make the platform work for you are really about the individuals. And the other thing is that if we move, <laughs> this is why the movers uh, uh, label is good. If we move together, this thing will increase in value together. So like, you know, you look at Bitcoin went from zero to 50,000 per Bitcoin because people decided, you know, it was like a feeling. We want to support this. If we want to support Vibranium, you know, that same type of movement is really possible. That's dope, Derek. Uh, again, you know, we were offline because this is a, a, a deeper conversation that, that I want to have. I really want to expose or, or I want to bring vibranium to this audience of movers and, and really help educate them so that they can educate their people. Uh, I didn't realize you were that close to launch. I think that that is beyond dope. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to talk about this offline, brother. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Prez. Deferred. Be good. All right. Okay, movers. Uh, Support my man, Derek Ferguson. If you are not following Vibranium Gold, please hit the button up there right now. You'll see my um, handle and his handle. All you got to do is go follow him. You know Derek, is he's a wealth of information, number one. But now I am way more uh, interested in diving deep into Vibranium Gold and, and seeing how we can turn this into the next huge platform. Uh I think you gotta bump me out, Prez. I, I can't get out. <laughs> you know what? I'm so scared to you don't have to say. I'm so scared right. to do that because every time let me try it. Every time I do it, it gets jammed up. Let me see. Nah. You stay here for a second. All I'm right, ending no it problem. now. No problem. <laughs> uh guys, again, I will see you all on Monday, motivation Monday, 7 p.m. Um, check out my man Ed Hennings comeback trail. Um, his comeback message that he does every Tuesday night is 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central. Thursday night, you got my man Rob Love behind the records. Um, he does that 8 p.m. And every day of the week, we got my man Fat Man Scoop, who has an incredible, incredible show that he does. Let's go support him. We got to support each other, y'all. Movers, we got to support movers. And y'all know, obviously, Wednesday night is Warrior Wednesdays right here. And we're going to do a simultaneous next week um, over on Clubhouse. Peace and love, y'all. And we will keep it moving. Hold on. I see somebody, JTW, says something about Laquan. I want to make sure I don't miss that. JTW. Okay. I think she said something about somebody hitting you, Derek. All right, movers. Movers, move. Keep moving. Keep making power moves, y'all. One love.